G'day folks, Anthony here for Go RV, and we're in a new Crusader Musketeer Camelot. It's got quite a few new features, apart from the whole body structure, which is pretty flash. It's got a new layout, it's got all new colouring with the interior. I'm just going to unhitch it and check out the van. Crusader listened to the people that said, we want a bit more comfort inside, we want a single axle, and on something that's a bit easier to tow. So what they've done is incorporate all of that in this new structure or this new van. When Crusader moved into their state-of-the-art factory back in 2022, they wanted to change from some of the more traditional, older style ways of manufacturing caravans to the new composite range that they're using now, which is all basically one piece sections all the way through. It's stronger, it's very durable, it'll handle the weather really well, and it's a bit of a credit to them to, to get it right. So having such a good size front boot means it's really easy to put chairs and tables and other bits and pieces in. It's fully sealed inside the unit. It's all secured within the one body. Just makes it nice, easy and safe. So the exterior of this Camelot is pretty much standard fare, what we're expecting, just the qualities there. It's got an entertainment unit, picnic table, it's got leaf spring suspension eye to eye. It's got a global heritage awning, which is a new brand in the industry. But it's leading us around to the back of the van to have a look at the reverse camera and what the back end of the van looks like. You know, the back of this Crusader, we have reversing camera, which is, seems, I reckon, should be a must on every caravan these days. Full LED lights, spare wheel on the bumper, very solid. What more could you want? Under the van, we've got a couple of 95 litre freshwater tanks. We've got a grey water tank. We've got a pump system that's easy to manage. And of course, that's all for the hot water system. That leads us up onto the roof where we've got several hatches. We've got the Horton air conditioning system. We've got solar panels, the Dometic fridge roof hatch. So there is a hatch here in the body, but there's also a vent at the top of the roof. So while we've had a really quick glance around the outside, it's the inside that's really important because that's where all the really smick changes have been made. New colors, new layout. So let's go and check it out properly. Wow, you better come and see this. It's pretty impressive. The new lounge. So this is uh, in the old ones, apparently in the Warrior, they have an L-shaped one and people wanted to make it more personable, nicer for couples to, to go away and sit at. And so with a few little modifications, Crusader have created a cafe. Then we have the new colour schemes. There's five new designer colour schemes for these vans. And this one's Coastal Luxe, so it has that sort of greys with blues and then the, the sort of tree look uh, with it. So yes, we're in the bush. We're not exactly on the coast. However, it's got a really nice warm feel to it. What a great size shower for somebody my size. Uh, and maybe a little taller. It's a good space. You know, it's a really good size shower in this ensuite. The other thing that I like about it, plenty of room to use the Dometic toilet that's sitting there. And under this hatch, there's a great size top loading clothes washing machine. One of the good things about this van is it's got a great amount of storage for the pantry. It's a very simple, practical layout. You've got the Dometic fridge freezer over here. You've got the Hawk three-in-one cooktop with grill and oven, nice deep sink, and of course the table, the trifold table is just there if you need some more prep space. So just finishing off the kitchen, we've got the NCE microwave up here. We've got the very comfortable mattress here, fans, it's a nice headboard, and of course inside the little cupboards, there's power points and USB chargers. We've given you a brief glimpse at this Musketeer Camelot inside and out. However, it's time for me to hook it up and head back to the factory. Uh, we're, it's actually traveling quite well, just sitting on around sort of 90k an hour. Hills have met this combination, so it's actually sort of rides really quite well. It's uh, not straining to tow this van, it's obviously very lightweight, as it, it just seems to tow it just really quite nicely, you know, in that speed range of 50 to 60, which is pretty much ideal uh, for the sort of conditions we're driving in. We've got trucks and cars and vans all hitting their brakes left, right and centre. 
yeah, makes for an interesting travel when you're trying to get up the highway just uh, casually and nice and easy. Certainly got plenty of power to pull this little man with us. So uh, let's keep it on the road, keep it safe. I'll say one thing, the braking is very smooth uh, with the system that's incorporated through the wild tracks and into the van. Just sort of just slowing down gently, there's no movement, no carry on, just sits on there really nicely. Seda, what a great job they've done with the remodel of this particular van and the layout, really cool.